Hey everybody, this is DJ Color TV from nycelectro.com and today I'm going to teach you how to clean your needles or more exactly your stylus of your needle. Now there's two different types of needles out there. There's this type that a lot of hip-hop DJs use. It's a head shell cartridge system that you uh, actually connect yourself that have the, the stylus right down here. And also there's another type of needle, which is the straight arm needle that just has the, the stylus cartridge right there in the front. There's no assembly required. Both are uh, good needles and can be used for any type of DJing. And the concept applies to both needles. So if you have the other type, you can also use this video. So that being said, uh, there's obvious reasons why you want to keep your needles clean. When you have a dirty needle, it's going to sound hissy and poppy and uh, uh, not so good on real records. And on Serato Records and uh, other programs like Tractor, it can mess up the time code and make it sound garbly or not track the actual, it'll go slower than the uh, time code is supposed to. And that's never good, especially when that's happening in the club. So you want to make sure that your needle is very clean. Also, if it's dirty, when you're scratching or back cueing, Especially back cueing, it'll pop back more than it's supposed to, or scratching, it can pop forward or backwards if your needle is dirty. And if your needle is really filthy, it'll just basically pick up and uh, skate all the way across your record. And that's never good. It feels like you have a broken needle, but you just turn it over and you realize that your stylus is completely covered in dirt. It's cleanable and fixable, trust me. It just happened to me recently, uh, luckily at home. Anyway. The first way that I use, there's a few different ways to, to clean your needles, and the first way I use is the quick and dirty way. Uh, I do this at the club, sometimes at home, depending on how lazy I'm feeling. And you just take your finger at the bottom of your needle and just swipe outwards. So actually touch your needle and swipe outwards, and that'll get most of the big chunks of dirt off your needle. It's not going to get it super clean, but if you're getting that garbly sound or hissing sound, that'll help a lot. You'll probably have to do it a few times throughout the night, though. So that's, that's the first way. The second way is you actually have to remove both of your needles. And I don't do this way very often, but it's a, a, a good way to do it if you don't have another solution. You should really lock down your tone arm first, but I'm being bad. So you remove both needles from the turntables. Now I'm just going to stick my camera up here. I'm actually using my iPhone and the Stanton DJ stand to hold this. So you take your two needles and you kinda you kinda let them just slide back and forth across each other. Now you need a lot of light and a steady hand to do this so it's not something that you can do at the club. Kinda looks like your needles are making out, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, they're not. You won't get baby needles from doing that. <clears throat> so that'll get it pretty clean. Um, as you can see, my needle started out fairly clean uh, before, but still. Now, that's the second way. The third way, uh, which is my favorite way, the best way, is using a brush. This is a Stanton brush that I bought a long time ago. I don't even know if it's still for sale. But basically, you can do this at the club. You can buy any brush uh, on nycelectro.com. You can find links to buy other brushes and it is highly recommended so it's very easy to do you just you gotta remove your needle and then take the brush and just like your finger slide outwards in an outward motion you can actually touch it here slide outwards you don't want to go back and forth here people because this that's what will damage the needle this little ribbon here is very very sensitive as you can see you know it's going up and down here now that's okay but side to side is not so great so be very, very careful when you're cleaning your needles. Most of these brushes also come with some sort of uh, liquid solution. It's basically an isopropanol solution that can clean your stylus and your head shell. Now what you can do with that is you got to be careful with it. But, you know, there's a lot of dirt that's, that gets up underneath the needle here. And cleaning that can be pretty tough to do without hitting your needle. But if you use this solution, you can either dab it on your brush or if you hold your needle in a downward angle, you can dab it here. It's not going to damage your cartridge. <clears throat> but you got to make sure it's down because you don't want it to leak inside. And, um, you know, that's never good for electronical parts. But 
Once you do that, you can clean here and you'll get your needle fairly clean, uh, fairly quickly. So if you want to do another method, which is the really uh, thorough method, is you can remove your head shell or your stylus from the head shell and you know then really clean the sides of your needle and stuff like that. Uh, you don't have to worry about then messing up the ribbon of your actual stylus. So you know just wipe it clean. You can use the isopropanol if you need and then pop your needle back together. Bada bing, bada boom. You got a clean needle, very clean stylus. It's gonna track really well just like new. Hopefully it wasn't damaged in the process. Like I said, be very careful when you're doing this. And that's pretty much it. So keep your needles clean. Click through to find the kits that you can buy to uh, clean your needles. And also I have uh, pictures of my dirty, dirty needles before I did this video. So uh, check that out. It's pretty gnarly. That happened over time and um, I've learned my lesson. Anyway, check you later. DJ Color TV signing out. NYCElectro.com. Peace.